<clears throat> hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is day 11 of the uh, October League Go Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's prom. I just came back from my six mile run, and I don't know why. It's just one of those days when my eyes are just like, I need to get some sleep. I think that's why it is a little bit later than I would like because um, I ran six miles. I came back, I showered, and stuff like that. I need to rest my eyes. I need to sleep, really. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at today's prom. I'm not going to lie, maybe I will watch it, but you know, um, sometimes you go to the gym and you, you just kind of do a couple of sets. They don't have to be tough. Just to remember, remind your muscles that, you know, they're still there, right? So maybe those are, this will be one of those days. Uh, my apologies if this prom is ridiculous and I don't know, we'll see. Uh, let's take a look at today's problem. We have 3186 maximum total damage with spell casting. Spell casting, spell casting. Not, not tired enough to not do silly things like that. But anyway, a magician has various spells. You're given an array power where each element represents the damage of a spell. Multiple spells can have the same damage value. Okay, it's a known fact that, uh, yeah, of course, it's a known fact, obviously. If a magician decides to cast a spell with a damage of power of I, they cannot cast any spell with a damage of power of I minus 2, minus 1, plus 1, or plus 2. Oh yeah, it is known, obviously. Nico, you don't really need to use these words. Okay, each spell can only be cast once. We turn the maximum possible da total damage that a magician can cast. Okay, I mean, this seems like a pretty straightforward problem. I mean, they, they frame it as power of I, so... um. Wait, what? Sorry, maybe I misunderstood this here. Each element, okay, damage of a spell, okay. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Turn the maximum total that can cast. Yeah, so if you cast one, then you cannot cast three, so you could cast four, right? One, one, four. Oh, so you can cast power survive. I think I misunderstood this one, honestly, as a as another problem. Uh, okay, so basically, you, I mean, eh, how do I want to write this, right? Uh, power sub I is going to be 10 to the 9, so you cannot do DP that way. Not going to lie. That was my inclination, was maybe do some sort of sorting. Uh, you know, do a sword and then do like, um, actually, I guess you still can, but I was going to do it on like a, a map or something. But, uh, but yeah, I think that's actually it <laughs> still, uh, is that we saw it and maybe dedupe, right? Um, so, okay, so maybe we have someone like F is you go to collection, uh, counter, power, right? So th this will give us the frequency table. So I have to clean my table. Why is my table a little bit nasty? I think I was eating on it before. I don't know. I'm a mess today. Uh, but yeah, so we, we put in the frequency table and then now we have the keys and we want to sort the keys, right? Um, yeah, and then the, and then maybe we just write keys as you go to this, right? Um, and then now we could just do a DP, right? Uh, I don't think there's anything. We just do a DP on the index, and I think that should be good. I've been using F for this, which I guess the, goes with the, uh, the frequency, so that's kind of terrible. I'm going to just go, uh, I don't know, get max maybe? Get max is probably good, but it's still in, eh, whatever. Uh, today, I'm not going to go over dynamic programming. This I, I am going to do it with dynamic programming. I mean, I am going to go over how I do this problem with dynamic programming, but I'm not going to go over the dynamic programming uh, basics. I'm just too tired. Uh, today, uh, today, in case y'all are new to this channel, uh, I, I'm training for the marathon. This is my peak week. This week, I'm doing 60, 60 something miles. And I've just been very tired. Y yesterday I did 13 miles. Today I did six miles as a rest day. So yeah. Okay. So basically, yeah. Uh, uh, this is basically almost like it's very similar to that problem of Rob or robbers or something, right? Um, but the idea here is that, um, yeah. If if it's 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 just take no take, right? So here maybe we write n. Is you go to the length of keys, of course, you have to put it after you declare it. So then, do, 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 then we just return zero, right? And then otherwise, um, we just take no tick, right? Take no tick. So if we take this, then we go to the next number. Um,
yeah, if we do take this, then we just take the next number, right? Which is going to be, um, what's it, power of index plus two or greater than, right? Um, and we could just do like, we could look at, because by pigeonhole principle is either the next index or the index plus one or the index plus two, right? So one of those, you could choose greedy. Uh, and, and the thing with this relationship that it is symmetric, so you don't have to do, do anything on the negative side because if you do it on the positive side, it will also imply it on the negative side, right? Because they're mutually, um, I don't know, mutually the, the opposite of infinity. Or, or uh, affinity, disinfinity, I don't know, D dislike, whatever, right? So so then now, so maybe we could just do like, um, yeah, if index, eh, I think we could write a loop, right? I mean, anyway, uh, okay, so let, let's just finish writing it first, hang on. So best is you go to zero, right? Uh, yeah. No, I mean, this part is fine, actually. Um, so no take would just be best is you go to max, or, or we could even just set the no take as default, right? Which is get max index plus one, right? Uh, and then take, it's going to be, either, as we said, it's either index plus one, right? So if index plus one is less than n, and... Um, and power of index plus one is greater than power of index plus two. Well, I'm saying it wrong, but you know. Uh, uh, but then now you can see that we can actually do, you know, the one, right? So then maybe we could just do an I loop, right? I is range from one to three, one, two, no, no, one and four, right, inclusive. And then now we could substitute as an I, right? Um, yeah, and if, if that's good, then we can go there next. So then we just do 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 do, right? Uh, plus the current index. So we cast the current spell or whatever, and then we just max it over the loop, and then we should be good. Technically, uh, if this is the case, we can also. Wait, am I missing one here, case here? No, no, no. Uh, because of the no tech, because we can go there and then no tech to get to the next one. So you, because I was worried about like creating gaps in which you're not considering all the cases. But I think you can, yeah, take and then, uh, uh, you could jump and then to a no take, to to no take more than gaps. So that should be okay. And then we just now return max and zero, right? And that should be good, hopefully. Otherwise I'm lying. Okay, I'm lying. Um, hmm. Does this ever execute? Why would this be zero? Hmm. Oh, I, I also messed up anyway. Uh, it's not power of index, right? Um, it is actually because power is the input, but we 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 actually want to DP on the keys, so it should be. Um, this is not yeah. This is right, except for now we have to do the frequency, right? So it should be this times f of key sub index. Why did how did that? Yeah. So something like this, right? Oh, okay, two is still is better, but still no Breno. Hmm. Double check real quick. It should be one, three, four, ideally. Yep. Um. So we do a no tech. No tech should be fine, but we take a two. Two is fine, but then it doesn't go to four. Why is that? Key sub i index plus i, so i is going to be two. Two is, oh, uh, 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 this is going to be four is greater than one plus two, right? Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> I see. I mean, the short reason is because then, uh, we only do this math if we take the current index which is not quite right, right? Because we want to be able to... Um, I think it's because of this part. <sighs> you should be able to... Because eh, 
because uh, I'm a little bit imprecise here. The reason is because I'm taking the current index uh, by skipping to the next index, which isn't quite precise because you can take the current index without um, without taking any without continuing, right? So so maybe we can also just do one more, which is uh, tick and then stop, maybe, uh, which is just best is you go to max best, uh, which is this function here. Let's give it YOLO submit. Should be fast enough, right? Yep. Uh, yeah. Uh, pretty slow, apparently. I, I mean, okay, yeah. This one is not that hard to... Uh, uh, I'm going to say the same thing that I did yesterday, which is that this one should not be too bad to... Um, convert. I mean, the way that I did it is top down, but you can... Or you should be able to write this bottoms up. And when you write it bottoms up, you can also do uh, much more uh, space optimization as well, um, almost the same way that you do it with Fibonacci sequence due to uh, this relationship, right? Because you're only looking at minus two and minus one, or plus one or plus two, pretty much for the Fibonacci, almost, right? Um, so yeah, so kind of play around with that. Um, you should be okay. What is the complexity here, right? Well, index is um go from zero to n but n is the number of unique keys and of course the number of unique keys is going to be just the number of input because they all could be unique so the in uh for the dp part index can go from zero to n not this n maybe it's a little confusing it's linear in the size of the input and each of these only does like three if statements or whatever right so we are going to be good enough right um yeah so it's going to be linear time linear space for this part, um, keep in mind that we do do a sort, uh, unless that it's already ordered, nope. So yeah, we all, we do do a sort, so it's gonna be n log n, right? Just, I mean, that's how sorting works. Um, but yeah, but you definitely can optimize this a little bit with bottoms up and then space optimization. I am gonna pass out. Thanks for watching. Stay good, stay healthy, do good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care, bye-bye.